morning campers. Uh, it's a little bit different of a morning today. We are no longer driving Mr. Maxwell. We are now in JP0200. This is a truck called Apophis. I named him myself. <laughs> it is a 2019 Freightliner Cascadia Evolution. I think it's still an Evolution? I don't know. I think I think Evolution is the um, is the uh, Aero package. So I think it's still a cast. It's a new Cascadia. So I think it is still a new Cascadia Evolution. It might just be the next gen Cascadia, and no more Evolution stuff. I don't know. I do not know these things. It's an automatic, which is taking some getting used to. Like that, we overshot our stop ever so slightly. or not, it's taking a lot of getting used to. But I think, I think I like it. I think I like it. <laughs> I definitely like the, uh, the creature comforts that come with Mr. Apophis here. <laughs> We've got quite a few uh, neat new features that we get to use, not least of which is no longer do we have an APU, we now have optimized idle. So we've got some extra batteries and the, uh, the entire truck runs off of those batteries when I am in the sleeper berth. And then if it needs to, it'll run the engine for a little while. Oh, that was a much better style. It's a much smoother stop. Oh, we might actually be able to drive this thing. Oh, it's not so great at the hill starts. Like the... I'm not applying pressure fast enough sometimes to keep from rolling back. Also, a thing I don't really like, it uh, auto cancels the turn signal, which that's not cool. That's not cool. It's a semi truck. I want to be able to cancel my own turn signal every time. Did you just break down? Oh, crap. Now we can't see past this dude. There we go. Yeah, so that guy's broken down. fun. All right. Now, this is uh, the first time we'll be taking Apophis over about 30 mile an hour. So if it's going to break, it's going to break now. I need to merge left. So I'm merging left whether you like that or not. So, sorry. Oh, interesting. there was a guardrail to our right. <laughs> so that's going to get old really fast. Luckily it only comes on when we have turn signals or the 
hazard lights going. Ooh, engine brakes work pretty well. That was just uh, medium engine braking there. Weight limit 60 tons, we are well below that. Forward, Mr. Papas, please. Missouri. 
And so what it's been doing is it seems to know the terrain. It seems to kind of have an idea of where the hills are, what's coming, and when it needs to build up speed for another hill. So we had a, we had a point a little while ago where we went over a nice steep little grade. And then uh, there was a little bit of a saddle where there was a, uh, a steep drop and then a steep climb and then a chill climb. Hello guy, you're awfully close in front of me and it makes me nervous. Uh, you're only doing 66 miles per hour <laughs> and you are 1.4 seconds in front of me. Good grief, dude. Ah. That's a little bit close. That's fine. It's, uh, Mr. Apophis is opening up the distance here. That's fine. Um, so yeah, it seems to know where the hills are. So uh, as we approach the first hill on that little double hump sort of thing, as we approach the first hill, it increased the uh, the engine power. It brought us at like 64 mile an hour on its own, even though my cruise control, I can't set the speed above 62. So it, it sped us up a little bit right before we hit the hill. So we hit it at a good clip and uh, we got over the top. So a few, uh, maybe a, a couple, maybe a hundred yards from the top of the of the hill, it threw it out of gear into E-Coast and we coasted just over the top of the hill at about 55 mile an hour and coasted down the other side of the hill all the way to the bottom of the saddle and got up to about 70. At the bottom of the saddle, we start to climb the other side, still coasting, and we drop to about 65. It throws it back in gear and starts applying power as we go up the steep part of the other side. So we're at 62 again by the time we get to the shallow climb. And then we just coast over the top again down the back side and it throws it back into gear. We get back to level ground on the other side of these two hills and we're already at 62 mile an hour. It was just like the most efficient possible climbing of a hill I've ever seen. It was amazing. It didn't even need the engine brakes. No engine brakes were used on two steep hills. It was glorious. <gasps> That's awesome. I like this. I like this a lot. Guys, I might be falling in love with a automatic transmission. <laughs> As dangerous as what this is. <laughs> I like, I like a lot. We are in Kansas City, Missouri. Just getting on 435 West. Thump. It's a thump. We don't want Des Moines. We don't want Wichita. We want St. Joseph. So, the shortest the shortest version of going around Kansas City is to take 435 west or take 435 east go up um, 435 east and go up the uh, east side of Kansas City connect to I-29 on the north side
the lanes are narrow. Come on. Let's go right, actually. Do, 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 do. I know, I know, buddy. <laughs> that was a pop is telling me, hey, there's a Jersey barrier over here. Just so you're aware. Uh, the sensor for the blind spot uh, alarm is slightly larger than one lane wide. So if something's on the other side of the lane, like in the case of this Jersey barrier, he is actually capable of detecting it, unfortunately. So let's turn that off, that on. sounds a little different. It's because we've got disc brakes instead of drum brakes. So I'm still kind of getting used to those because we've got disc, on this particular trailer, we have disc brakes all around. <laughs> we have six disc brakes on the tractor. We've got four disc brakes on the trailer. There are no drum brakes anywhere in this configuration right now.
turning trucks. I am a turning truck. <laughs> that was our first railroad crossing in an automatic truck and it didn't shift gears on me. I like this yard dog, he's almost as slow as me. the receiving door <laughs> all right so we have bumped our first dock with mr pompous it went much better than i anticipated so i think i'll definitely be recording one of those shortly just to kind of show you guys how well the automatic transmission does at that <sighs> we're getting unloaded already which is awesome because i wasn't expecting to even get unloaded till like six o'clock tonight even after they called and told me they were open <sighs> this is awesome but yeah, so hey, you guys notice those light poles are all dented and, and bent over? And that there's a bunch of truck tracks through the dirt? None of those tracks in the dirt are mine. I did, I'd did i gotten this dock without going into the dirt once. Um, but uh, if you roll back the footage to uh, the yard dog, you'll see why all the light poles are, are dented when you see what name is on the side of the yard dog. <laughs> Huh. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> 
it'll give you a good laugh. Anyway, uh, I will see you guys when we get our next load. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Elio Dare, Azure Angel 17 on Steam, uh, no, on Twitch. Uh, Elio Dare on Steam, Xbox Live, and most importantly on Twitter at Elio Dare, no apostrophe in the username. Come say hi on Twitter because I'm there all the time. And uh, yeah, it's the best place to get sneak peeks of stuff like, you know, Apophis. <laughs> I, ac I totally accidentally took a picture of Apophis the night before I got him. So uh, you guys could have seen Apophis before I even knew it was Apophis. I mean, wow, that would have been awesome, right? If you'd seen that, that would have been cool. <laughs> so come say hi on Twitter. I'm there all the time. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day. Spoilers, the answer was swift. <laughs>